Hello, Happy New Year. I'm here at the Waikoloa Hilton on the Kamaaina Rates for two, uh, two nights so we can have today. Went down to the pool this morning. Um, it is great. I teased a few people. Um, I've been playing this game, Sauerbrunn. I used to play. I was teasing a few people on there about going to a resort. But really, I mean, if I were to go down to the ocean, it's just as... I mean, all... I mostly read. And uh, this one's for the kids. That's why we're here. I mean, there are some of the resorts, like the Puna Beach Prince, that's like, it, it helps relax. Just the hammocks. And, and I pretty much read. You jump in the pool. Read, jump in the pool. Mostly... Uh, Jump the pool and read. Um, I could get just as much going to the ocean. More, actually. Um, this one has a really long pool and some slides. It's kind of for the kids, like the Disneyland version. So we came down here last minute because um, some, well, some people. My stepson's half-brother from Alaska and his family are in Hawaii and they're in a condo over here so we figured we'd come to the Waikoloa Hilton we could all use the pool today which is what we're gonna do I've already been down there a couple times there's a couple pools it's really long the main part I like the slides are kind of fun but if there's a line it's not really worth it um, but uh, it's, there's waterfalls that fall into the pool there's artificial rock and stuff, so there's this big, really, I love standing under that, that that's fun. It's a bunch of hot tubs and so on. So 2013, um, as far as I'm concerned, in 2012, you know, pretty much came true that the, the world ended just like they had predicted. And this is the afterlife. Uh, and in 2013, I mean, Objectively, my life is getting better, and, emo and and by objectively, I mean including looking at my emotions, I'm, I'm also doing better. But at the same time, uh, well, I was going to say things are uh, get worse, but not really. No, they get better, but it's just there's certain things are never going to. I have certain attitudes that are like. If they're unpleasant, then it's just the reality. The reality is unpleasant. And um, it's. I do think things are getting better. I mean, I, I, uh, I got married to somebody I was with for a long time, my lovely wife, and uh, that's good. And, um, you know, there's this shadow over my life still, though. I'm looking forward to moving, um, moving to Maine probably in the next few months. Hopefully, I don't know. Playing that a little bit by ear, but I got stuff set up, so it seems doable. Just the the details now. Not worrying about that at the moment. I was working on that, but I decided to take a couple weeks vacation. Um, do I have high hopes for uh, 2014? I just finished this book, Illusions. You ever read this book? Easy read. This is the guy that wrote Jonathan Livingston Seagull. I always loved that book. I would say that book was influential in my life. So I just read this. It's great. I love this guy's idea of the Messiah, except for it's always like there's got to be free things, miracles. It can make things float. You don't got to put gas in your car and sit like that. It's like... Um, that's just to get people into it. That's just to get a primitive people into it. And then they'll find out that, you know, your messiahs are moral. And they, they want to be. We all want to be. The last thing you ever want to be is immortal. Now, not that it wouldn't be great. Like people say, oh, you get bored with all that time. No, 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 no. I would love to live thousands of years and in terms of the amount of time being immortal. But it's just because it's a little technical fact. To be immoral, uh, you don't get to change at all. You don't get to live. So we do all of this work to become mortal, and then we waste the time to fear immortality the whole time. 
I mean, one thing I've learned is that from what I've been through in life, you know, and there's some things you guys know, and many more things you don't know, uh, life has got to be some sort of a joke. It's an absurd play, so, you know what I mean? can't be taken too seriously, obviously. And yet, uh, that doesn't mean you can't fight tooth and nail to the death to make it better. Um, I, I really don't know what's going to go on in the world. I'm very pessimistic for what's going to happen with the U.S. It's hard for me to see any optimism in the U.S. And, and I always have been able to find some optimism because as bad as things have been in the world and the geopolitics, it seemed like, you know, liberalism is breaking out, progressive ideas. Some of them go too far, but then they get in check. It just seemed like, oh, people had to start at the clue. But you just never know. There's so many people. And right now, the U.S., it's like, I don't, I don't I'm live in a country that argues with me about the propriety of torture, bombings, <clears throat> civilians. One in ten people is supposedly their target with the, with the robot bombers. But these are arguments in my country. You know, it's like there's no doubt America does not lead the world would lead the world in any moral sense. That's obvious to everybody, except Americans, I think. I think it's getting to the point where it will even be obvious to Americans that it's like, hey, you got the biggest military, we'll give you that. But nothing else. You got don't got the best roads, you don't got the best nothings. You know, and, and you could what about the best medical care and best education? Well, yeah, I mean, in the sense of not per capita, but um, it's like they got the best skyscrapers in uh, Dubai. So, yay Dubai! It's like, what are you going to be first in? You know, it really needs to be general uh, statistical things. And everything else is just somebody's little fun time, you know. But, so... I don't really know. You know, my attitude about the human race is kind of, well, if the human race is going to... I love talking about the human race as though I'm not a part of it. So I kind of feel that way. Now, if the human race is going to fuck things up, then uh, fine, just hurry up and do it, okay? And, and we need to shake that etch a sketch and, you know, maybe, who knows, dogs will be the next one to evolve brains uh, capable of writing dictionaries or something. I don't know. Give somebody else a chance. He's like, that's that's a slightly optimistic idea. Like, well, it'll all work out because if humans don't make it, then they won't make it. And that's how it worked out. Something else to try. I um, sometimes I don't feel too invested in that, but in reality, every moment of my life, I've been invested in that. You know, and some of it's, it's just me subconsciously putting energy trying to fix situations in my own family and life uh, to, to make generalize them. On the other hand, through that process, I've learned a lot about the actual, this is so I can write this slide, the actual outside uh, you know, what I was actually thinking, it's hard to be here because it's mildly enjoyment. The main enjoyment is the enjoyment you give the kids with such a spectacular pool. You know, they're very impressed with that. And they use it. You know, they're just, mm, let's go to the other one. It's half mile away. And so that's sad. You know, see a father playing keep away with his two young daughters and stuff. It's very hard to enjoy. Uh, I uh, have some curmudgeon -y and this is the moment. Uh, I also realize I wake up every day sad. Every day sad. And I've had a lot of good days, but that's, I wake up and I work on sadness. And I don't do it, I don't, like, I don't tell myself personal affirmations and shit like that. That's lame. You know, motivational posters are depressing to me. Um, if I'm trying to cheer myself up, it would be a, a, a kind of humor. But anyway, um, I don't do any of that. It's just more taking my time and, and uh, you know, 
a nonverbal mental getting everything in range and but I have realized that I pretty much wake up in the morning um, rueful about everything in the world um, including my own situation um, but ironically it continues to seem less my own situation more like uh, well not my situation but I mean my, my experiences um, I don't know. It's just it's so hard to process, and I'm a person that tries to process things. And I, I realize this is a lifetime's worth of processing left on this. But, um, you know, I, 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 can, I, my situation is getting better. One reason is I'm just focusing on that. I mean, I tried, so I took on more than I could bear as a, as a young child, and I bore that uh, for 20 years. Uh, and... I don't really have a problem um, with the world in terms of me navigating it. I have a problem that it's like I'm, I'm swimming in, in sewage, you know, and it's like I have my toxic toxin filters on and it's like I, they're not that comfortable, they keep me alive, but you know, I want to save other things. I'm watching everything else die in this fucking world, burnt up world. And it's so possible for this world to be lovely. This is so easy and so possible. There's plenty of wealth to do it. There's plenty of technology. Uh, there's clean ways of doing things. There's decent ways of treating each other that um, allow you to, to survive still. That don't threaten your survival. You don't have to give up your... You know, the price of being nice is not giving up your survival. And yet, it's just, it's just falling, everything's falling, it's like, what's the problem? I mean, what do you lack and how could I give it to you? So maybe in 2014 I'll have a chance to give that to you. I think I'm gonna be starting my own business in the next uh, year or so. It's my part of my uh, master plan that I have now. Uh, of leaving Hawaii. So, anyway, Happy New Year! <laughs>